Domain names are essential for letting users access the applications and systems that you build. Hi, my name is Stephen Fluin, and today we're talking a little bit about how to buy and use NFT-based domain names to access decentralized ways of providing access to your systems and applications. So let's go ahead and dive in to see how we can create NFT-based domain names. We're going to be taking a look at two services today. We'll first take a look at ENS, and then second, we'll take a look at Unstoppable Domains. So on ENS, things are pretty simple. You'll just visit app.ens.domains. And fortunately, what we can do is we can actually use a test net in order to understand the entire process of setting up a ENS domain name here. So we're going to head, go ahead and connect our wallet that we've pre-set up here to the app. So we'll just use MetaMask for simplicity here. And we've connected using the Rinkby network, which is a test net. And so what we'll do is we'll just say uh, ENS domain demo here. We'll just pick any sort of URL. It doesn't really matter as long as it's available. We will then choose that domain. We will then get offered here a registration period. So we'll bump this up to, I don't know, five years instead of one year. And then we will go ahead and see what it's got here. So we've got the registration fee that you have to pay as well as the gas fee. And then a, if this was a mainnet, it would actually estimate the amount of ETH that this would cost. And it's going to be basically a few steps here. We're going to request to register, which will trigger a MetaMask transaction on the chain we're on here. So we'll just hit confirm with that. And then we're going to go ahead and wait one minute. Uh, this is a time period that's built into ENS to ensure that you don't have multiple people trying to grab the same domain name at the same time. We'll go ahead and fast forward through this. All right, now that the one minute time period has elapsed, we're able to go to the third step, which is register. So this is going to trigger another on-chain transaction, which we'll go ahead and confirm as well. Uh, as soon as that transaction is confirmed, our domain name registration on ENS will be complete. And effectively what this allows us to do is this will automatically set the address that we used to purchase the domain as the uh, address of this domain name. But we can actually go ahead and manage it. And you can see there's lots more things you can do. You can set various blockchain addresses here. You can set URLs, text records, descriptions, Discord, Reddit usernames, all these sorts of things just associated with the record that you're storing. And so we've got our ENS domain demo.eth registered and we are done with ENS. Next up, we're going to take a look at unstoppable domains. They're a little bit different in terms of if you wanted a .eth domain name, you'd be buying that via ENS, whereas unstoppable domains offers several different top level domains such as .crypto, .nft, etc. And they charge everything in USD and they do all of the blockchain transactions behind the scenes. And so because you have to use real money for this site, because there's no test net, we're going to go ahead and buy a domain name that I might actually end up using someday. So I'll choose uh, Stephen Career. So I'll just type Stephen Career .nft, and we'll see that that is going to be about twenty dollars to buy the .nft. And you'll see they charge different prices for different top level domains. We'll add that to our cart. And then we'll go ahead and continue to our cart. Uh, and then we need to confirm if we live in the USA or not. We'll go ahead and enter a zip code here. And then we're going to go through a very, very traditional checkout process. I'll go ahead and skip this. All right. And once we've entered our credit card information, we will get a receipt via our traditional email. And what that will allow you to do is now we can click on this button down here that says mint your domain. This is where we actually create the ERC721 on the blockchain. And you'll note that it's going to automatically connect to my wallet. And then what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to say uh, connect this domain name with the wallet I've just chosen. So we'll go ahead and use that. And then this wallet will actually get control of that NFT after it's minted. And because this is happening on the real Polygon blockchain, it's going to say that this action is irreversible. All right, we're going to have to go through a confirmation process via my real email address. And now that we have passed that verification process, we're going to see that the minting process has started. Again, unlike ENS, which does everything on chain, Unstoppable Domains does a lot of things behind the scenes in their centralized web system. Uh, and so you can actually see the on chain transaction here if we take a look on Polygon Scan. And as soon as they have uh, completed that transaction, you'll see that the minting of that NFT domain has been completed.
we've just taken a look at how we can use both ENS and Unstoppable Domains and their decentralized NFT-based domain names in order to provide access to our applications and systems. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.